Oh, let me show you a couple of things that we've been using in the bay. Um, going down there to throw, you can watch it in the rest of the video. Um, first is my uh, favorite, and that's the um, four inch river prawn jerk minnow. So you'll see I fish a lot of the jerk minnows more than the paddle tails. I just find that they have a more natural uh, action when jerked, when bounced off the bottom. They look more like a prawn than say a paddle tail would or something like that. So in our bay, the, the, the kingies, all of that, they love those little ginger shrimps and that. And this thing looks identical to the ginger shrimps. So I use the, the, the river prawn a lot. Um, however, sometimes you get dirty water um, and then you also have um, water that is slightly stained or whatever and that's um, that's when the glow comes in so you'll see I fish that a lot the river prawn and the glow are my two most favorite these are my favorites I mean the other guys do fish it a lot and as I mentioned this is a brand new packet brand new packet so in goes the spray this is the pro bass spray shellfish flavor um, and I spray that in all my packets and it just keeps the bait softer makes them easier to handle in the packet they don't stick together or anything like that so and then it adds the, the, that smell as well masking your scent in it so the other colors I like to use goldfish goldfish is quite popular in the bay you can see this one's already been sprayed olive pearl olive pearl is brilliant um, fish that a lot as well, the grunter tend to like this when the water's cleaner. Um, and uh, yeah, there, there's copper truce, there's quite a few other colors, but, but those are the, the, the main colors that I fish there. The river prawn, the olive pearl, the goldfish, and the glow. Um, and you'll see, I, I use, I normally got two rods out there when I'm fishing, and I fish a lot of three inch and four inch. I find that in the bay and especially in the harbour here, we, we, you don't really need to go much bigger than that. Um, just about everything, the Garrick, everything will eat the, the four inch uh, and then the three inch as well. Those, everything eats that as well. You'll catch decent sized fish in that on the three inch too. Um, jig heads. Um, so I, I use a lot of these bull jig heads um, by Eagle Claw. Um, beautiful little jig heads. Uh, very sharp little hooks. Incredible hooks. There's a couple of different colors they come in um, and the pack is not bad. There's 10 in a pack So a lot of people think are oh, they it's expensive, but there's actually twice the amount in, in, in the normal class What makes these jig it so special is, is the little the little bait holder that goes on here And um, when you push your, your lure on there number one it doesn't break it and number one it holds it in, in place and that um, so very important uh, is, is to find something that isn't big and fat at the bottom here that will break the, the lures. So I use that a lot. Um, this is a finesse jig however, it's finesse stuff. You're going to fish that with your SX Lite, you're going to fish it with 8 pound, 10 pound braid and you're not going to put massive pressure on it and we caught big fish with that. If you're going for the bigger fish then you would go for the, the Eagle Claw Saltwater jig heads. Um, that's them there. That's a silver hook, a very strong hook, uh, available in one eighth ounce and, and one quarter ounce. And for the bay, that's 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 about it. Uh, one eighth, I fish a lot on the banks and that on the shallower waters. And then the one quarter, if you're fishing the deeper sort of six meter mark or or eight meter mark, you can go down to the to the quarter ounce. Um, available also in a few different colors there. I fish mainly white and black in the bay. Um, <clears throat> I find that they work very well. Um, no problem, and then um, and then sometimes you need to go with um, other stuff. I mean, if you're going light stuff but heavier, then have a look around and see what you can find in the market. Unfortunately, we don't have anything in our range that that, that equals this at the moment, but um, there'll be something coming shortly. Um, so this is quite a heavy um, hook with a nice ball jig head. You'll find that I fish a lot of ball jig heads rather than any other style because they're just so versatile. You can use them open water, you can use them on the sand um, and uh, up and down. I mean, they're just more versatile than, than any of the other, the other jig head styles. So that's it. Three inch, four inch for the bay is probably the best I can go. I mean, uh, paddle tails do work. I do fish paddle tails from time to time and I do catch fish on them, but the jerk minnow for me, in, in Durban Harbour, is definitely the winner. 
Um, other thing that, that's very important in the bay is fluorocarbon leader. Uh, Albie does a very nice little one, 30 meter spool, for, and it's nice and compact, fits in your pocket. Um, and it lasts a long time, I think I've had this for about six months now. Um, it's a 100% fluorocarbon leader. Um, what the fluorocarbon does, it, 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 it reflects the light to the same as, as what the water is and it, it's virtually invisible in the water so it makes it better hook sets. Also quite nice and abrasion resistance compared to all your other stuff. So on your toothy critters and things like that, fluorocarbon is very important. Get hold of it, LB fluorocarbon, brilliant stuff. Um, yeah, then, um, then as I mentioned, uh, on my previous episode when I get back I clean them off and I use this 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 salt neutralizer um, made by Cyberchem um, there's a variety of them that are on the market but I like this one it's it's nice and uh, cheap number one and it's convenient yeah, yeah. it's ready made ready mixed everything like you just grab it you can buy the concentrated form as well and then I use on spraying down, I've showed you on previous videos before, just where every time I get back, I just spray the rods and reels down, guides especially, uh, let it dry, spray it off with a hose pipe and then put the ro rods away. Um, but, but recently I've discovered that they do other products and the, the other products are, are brilliant. Uh, uh, number one is this Marine All-in-One and that's just your basic lube type stuff. Um, you're loosening uh, nuts and bolts and whatever, uh, fences and whatever else you want, doors, stop them squeaking. But on a reel, all your sort of moving parts and that, that you can use that marine all in one. Um, and then uh, they make another silicon spray as well. I don't use the marine silicon spray as much, it's just a lighter duty um, lubricant, penetrant, and release agent. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's not bad, but what really, really got me is this stuff here. This is called Marine Protectol. Um, it's brilliant stuff, uh, absolutely brilliant stuff. So once you wash your rods and reels and everything down and your guards and whatever, and they dry, um, and what you want to do is, is, is all of the guards and that all in these areas, these have all been sprayed already before. Um, it looks a bit tatty here because I didn't um, spray it nicely. Um, but I just take that spray and I just, uh, just a bit on these things. It's, it's like a hard, it sets to quite a hard, um, <clears throat> finish it's like a, a a protectant it's like it's like having a screen on your phone um and the same here i spray it quite a bit it just adds this like rubber like hard finish to it you gotta wait for it to dry it takes about five minutes or so to dry and um and then it's actually quite difficult even to scrape it off of there you're not going to use any of this this on your on your moving parts and that but just on the sides of reels just just protect it from nicks and scratches and things like that yeah, obviously you don't want to get it on your line and that not uh, not that i've had any issues with it but um yeah it's just uh, probably one of the best products i've found in the market lately for for things like this if you if you cutting your reels and that around and you want to protect them you want to just add a little film on that to, to protect it that's a way to go marine protect all and then oh, look at all the other stuff the light the marine silicon spray and then of course your marine all-in-one uh, very good stuff. Most of the shops in that keep it. Uh, this hasn't dried properly yet, but it, yeah, I don't know if you can see here. Let me see if I can peel it off. It's like a, it's like a hard thing. Okay, this hasn't. I've only just sprayed it now, so it hasn't dried yet. But once it dried, you can't you can't really get it off so easily. But it adds a, a, a nice film to it, and it just protects everything from nicks and scratches. Um, what I did discover as well is that on my jigs, especially my slow jigs and, and, and spoons and things like that, when they get scratched and, and that, I found that this stuff also works well. Just on, you know, spray your jig head or your jigs or whatever, and it adds this little film protection around there just to stop it from getting scratched and nicked and things like that as well. Obviously, it's, it takes a couple of minutes to dry. Um, Oops, just let it dry and um, off you go. So for your jigs, all those little scratches and that in your jigs and that, just spray it on there, leave it for a while and it's got a little protected coaching on the back there. So guys, check it out. Um, chat to your chuckle shops. Um, uh, most of them should have this stuff in the shops. If they haven't got it, you can always get them to give me a shot and I'll, I'll sort, it, sort them out for them. 
but that's it guys um just th thanks for watching and and i hope um these little tips and that will help you uh, but enjoy the fishing in the meantime cheers Yeah. I have to go around the front. Around the front. Go around the front. Put your hand through there. Give me your hand. Give me the rod. Go around the other side now. Don't give it to you. It's too much slack there. It's on still. First cast. First cast. It's an old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that a river prawn? Yeah. yeah. I think With it's a, a big. I think it's a big gurnard. Mm -mm, can't be gurnard. Huh? No, it's oh, a you. kingy. Hey, kingy. Yeah, kingy. <laughs> Come on, come on, up! Yes! Very nice. Yeah, let's just get some pictures on the camera. A good size on that. Where are you going? Sure. How oh, this thing eats? Yeah. We're we getting a bit shallow now. Don't move us. Okay, okay, okay. Hold it up here for the. Yeah, don't worry. Cause I'm standing. Cause I'm standing. It is wool. Yeah. Just hold it. I'll lift this tail up. Oops, quick release. Well done, crow. Beautiful morning watching a sunrise at Durban Harbour. Doing some drop shot with the guys. Slowly, slowly, when he's pulling, don't, don't lift up, just hold. Right now, lift up. Slowly, right, Karen, just right, just right. right. Pick it up, just that. Right. Carry on, Karen. When he's pulling, you just hold straight. Just that. Right. You'll tie him out. Perfect. Really, really, really as you're going down. Right. Don't, don't give him any Other way, Crow. Now carry on, you carry on, you carry on, you carry on.
Don't touch the spool. The fishing light. Just carry on that. Just carry on that. Oh, you're gonna tighten two clicks here. Because each time he's pulling up, just tighten two clicks. Right, sharp, done. Right, go, go, go. Yeah, you'll tie him a bit more. Yeah, that's better. Slowly, slowly, slowly. See, now he's, now he's coming. Yeah, so when he pulls, you just hold like that. When he stops. No, Granta. Cobb. That's Granta. Granta. Yes. That's a serious Well done. Well done. <laughs> Lip, Well done. Yes. Well done. Well done. Well done. Oh, you got the net there. You got it there. You can net it for us. That's up. You pulled it out there, man. That's up. There we go. That's one there. Things and then it got tough later on, but it was good fun. Some good fish. 